morning everyone we are leaving the petrol here in Portage, Wisconsin yes sir in 500 feet turn left on WI-78 and it looks like a gorgeous day out here today don't really see any wind no trees are moving or anything like that nice and sunny out here looks like a good day to be out here driving so let's get down the road and uh, see how it's going to be i heard in manitoba it's supposed to uh, be raining this afternoon and it's supposed to be windy so We'll see what we can come up with tonight. In a half mile, take the entrance to the left on I-39 or I-90 West, I-94 West. All right, you tell them, RJ. You just tell them. Boy. Anyways, that's what the forecast that I heard for Manitoba is supposed to be. Raining this afternoon and windy, so... Not looking forward to that, but hey, we'll enjoy it. Take the entrance to the left on I-39 Road, I-90 West, I-94 West. Anyways, let's get back on the interstate over here and uh, put the hammer down for as much time as we can. Well, guys, it looks like something has gone wrong. I am very surprised that this truck did not roll it over look at this he lost his trailer axles man oh man that could have been dangerous he could have been falling over this tall bridge up here and i am extremely surprised that he did not layer over man holy smokes look at that he lost his trailer axles completely and he did not roll it over wow Good job there, mister, or missus, whatever you are. Wow, that is impressive. I never thought anybody would be able to hold that. <laughs> hold the trailer that straight. Looked like he hit the guardrail there on that side and he went over to this side and then he went back that way and that's where he came to a rest. That is something to keep it on the on the pavement like that, not rolling it over or anything like that. Wow! Now well, that is quite something. They're losing the trailer ride. So <laughs> what an interesting morning. I've only gone about uh, maybe 25 minutes or 30 minutes worth of driving, and here I see this already. <laughs> Things that happen here out on the road are sometimes like just wow, you know, like you see so many different things and the strangest of things you see here on the road. Like on my way down to Ohio, I had a, a look to me like a lady on the other side, like I was driving on the other side of the highway there. I don't remember exactly whereabouts it was, but I know it was up here in Wisconsin. She was driving the wrong way. She was coming towards me. And both of these lanes are traveling that way, and the other one are traveling, both are traveling this way, you know? And, and she was coming directly at me, and I'm like, what the heck is going on here, you know? Like, <laughs> all of a sudden I see this vehicle coming at me. Like, she was there on the, 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 the left lane, coming towards me like I'm like come on you know and I looked at my mirror and finally she got on the shoulder but she was just I honked my horn at her and she just kept on driving like nothing happened <laughs> there's trainers of things you see you know I've seen so much this last this last two weeks it's just incredible I've seen this lady cut me off real close 
I had a car on fire. I would have had a car coming towards me, the wrong lane or going the wrong way. Now I see this. I mean, just so many things in, in, in a short period of time, you know. Just amazing what goes on out here in this world. But that's what it is. Hey, and who better than to show you guys than me? <laughs> you don't even need to turn on the news. You get to see it right here. <laughs> oh, well. I guess some things you will get to see in the news that I don't show you. Just the time and the moment, you know. I feel energy. Anyways, enough of that. We'll keep on rolling. And see what else we come up with. Or what else will happen here on the road today. And if we can get it on camera, we will show you. Well, guys, you know it's summer. When you see this amount of traffic on a Saturday at around lunchtime, going out of Minneapolis. Lots of fishing guys out here, lots of guys with boats and all that good stuff. And oh yeah, heavy traffic coming out of Minneapolis, that's for sure. Well, that means we are in Minnesota now. We went to Wisconsin. It's starting to get cloudy. Like I think I said before, apparently we're supposed to get some rain there towards Manitoba, so it's starting to look more and more like it. But usually this is a stretch where sometimes it can be a little heavy traffic. They might have some construction going up over there, further down the road too. Anyways, just got to take her easy and try to be safe and pay attention to what's going on. But I'm starting to get hungry. I haven't had anything to eat yet today and I'm starting to get hungry. Oh, well. We'll just take it minute by minute. I guess there goes another guy with the boat. I guess there must be a lake somewhere down here because uh, they're all taking that exit up there and probably all going to go fishing somewhere down there. Here we go guys, we just had ourselves a little bit of a pit stop. Had to take my half an hour break. Yes siree, just got that in the books. Now we're going to put the hammer down towards Fargo, North Dakota. And I'll uh, probably go to the Mexican restaurant up there. I'll go inside and have me a good bite to eat. And uh, hey, got nothing in, in a hurry, so. Yeah, well, I'll be home late tonight, but yeah, it's alright. It's alright. Anyways, let's get down to Fargo and give me a bite to eat. I stopped earlier there in Clearwater, Minnesota there and uh, went inside there. I was going to grab me a bite to eat there and oh, man, there was a ton and ton of people in there. And I just said, ah, oh, forget it. I, I ain't eating there. So I just quickly grabbed me some uh, beef jerky up there and uh, all the cook and I was out of there. <laughs> all the chocolate bar as well. That's hold up so far but I think by the time I get to Fargo I'll be hungry. But I really don't have much in the stomach today so that's all I ate so far so. Anyway so far it's a beautiful day. Nice and sunny. It's actually nice and warm out here today too. Let's put the hammer down and get to Fargo. Alrighty guys, we have just gone through Fargo, North Dakota. We stopped in the Mexican restaurant in there. Had me an awesome meal. Oh yeah. Well, I haven't 
seen really any rain yet, so I guess the weather forecast was wrong for rain today. Well, maybe in Manitoba they got some rain. We got about uh, probably two, two and a quarter hours to the border anyway, so yeah. But so far it's nice and sunny. That's the way we like it. Anyways, we'll keep on rolling and see what uh, more interesting things we come up with. Alrighty guys, we just entered Manitoba. And it looks pretty blue there towards the right. My buddy was saying earlier there in Steinbaugh that it was pouring rain, he said. So far we got sunshine. I guess we timed it perfectly so it's going to be further east by the time we get to Winnipeg. Probably already old passed by. That'd be good. Yep. But some other states or provinces could use the rain, but I think we don't really need it right now. At least not a lot. Anyways, we got about an hour and a half to Winnipeg and we'll be there. behind me that day is gonna come I'm breaking the walls down 